what a lot of people think is just a recent trend, is slowly becoming a huge community of men and women sharing a common interest. The world of longboarding is filled with the most interesting and passionate individuals. Time to meet a few in this documentary. Some may call them losers, I call them cruisers. What's the difference? I'm never knowing at all. Whenever you step by, take his own. How long have you been longboarding? Um, I've been longboarding slash skateboarding for about five years now, I would say. All through high school, pretty much. I've been longboarding for about two years now. And uh, before that, I skateboarded for about another two, two years in uh, grade eight. I've been longboarding and skateboarding and everything for about four years. Got started with a group of friends skating around town. I uh, just jumped off on it right away. I'm like, this is for me. I feel free and relaxed. I'm just like, wow, it's fun. As soon as I step on the board, I'm completely at peace. Like my mind's at ease. And it's not like that I'm completely focused on longboarding, but it's just it relaxes me completely. I would say floating, that'd be the best feeling. Uh, I'm completely at peace when I'm on a long board. It feels like I'm almost like dreaming, you know, you can kind of, especially at night, if you're, you know, if there's no cars on the road and it's dark, you can kind of just drift to and from the streets and it's just, it's really freeing. Longboarding for me is like that thing that everyone has one of these things where like they're completely at peace. And for me that's longboarding, like I don't know if it's singing, drumming, whatever. Whatever you do, video games, anything like that, everyone's got like that one thing where they feel most comfortable doing it. And for me, that's a lot more boiling. But I have several. I'm floating. I'm so loose, not uptight. Um, my favorite thing about longboarding yeah. is just almost a sense of community there is. I like landing tricks. When I land a trick, it's like the whole world is clapping for you. Just like the sound of my wheels. It's so nice friends and everything and just how fucking fun it is to ride a board. Mm. Family, yeah, the community, the family aspect of it, like my entire group of friends revolved around longboarding. Like that's how we all met. We all longboarded during the summer and then we became really close because of that. So I owe a lot to longboarding. Probably just being able to have fun and get places. It's not and like I can be going through relationship problems. I can, you know, any problem I have, if I step on my longboard, it's immediately gone from my mind. What, and like what like drew you towards our morning first time? Your skates? Oh, just my friends. Just they did it? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. It looked fun. Yeah. Picked it up because my friends were doing it. It looked like a lot of fun. It looked like a lot of fun and it was a great mode of transportation for me to get to, to and from school and to get to work and stuff and made it traveling a lot more fun. I like skating with a few of my friends, you know what I mean? And I have to know them well. It's not as valuable or sentimental of a moment when I don't know who I'm skating with because we skate differently. What about like getting places? You know, that's like that's like, usually what I use it for. Yeah. Yeah. So mode of transportation. Yep. Main mode of transportation. Mm -hmm. Skateboard, longboard. We have to walk because I longboard everywhere. So if it's raining and I have to walk, it feels weird because I'm like thinking in my head like, man, I could be there in ten minutes, but I don't want to get a car because I would rather just longboard. But, like if I could live close to my job and my home, I would just longboard all the time. And that's like way cheaper too, than like taking the bus. Or yep, and environmentally friendly. Yep. Not just a method of transportation, I get enjoyment out of everything. There's so much cardiovascular work, abdominal work, your legs. Have you ever thought about longboarding, it's just a method of transportation, it's not. It is uh, an extreme sport, or a sport same as yeah, skateboarding, was, anything like that. My, my right leg is way bigger than my left leg. I, I would love to show you, but... Forget about it. Me and my friends have taken our longboards from London to Port Stanley, which is like 35, 40 kilometers away. Not just like riding a bike where you get on a bike and you're like, okay, this is like my mode of transportation, I'm gonna get to work today. Like a bike's fun, but taking a longboard and taking your longboard to work, that's actually like an enjoyment and I get better at it and you actually like, it's like, it's really like, it's thrilling just to get to and from work and to get to and from school. It makes the commute almost like they look forward to it. That I can't do in the winter. That is very interesting. I didn't even talk about that, but that is very important. Yeah, well, we do live in Canada. If I live in fucking California or something. Yeah. You hate cabs as a longboarder. <laughs> you hate, well, you hate all cars in general, but especially cabs, because cabs are douchebags. Cabs are a big issue. Um, 
it's just like they always want to. It's always my fault, you know, because I'm I'm on the board, so obviously I'm a bad guy. But you know, I've been hit by a car like three or four times. Basically, and, just fucking assholes that ruin it for me. Yeah, just drivers. Up. Just asshole punk kids. Yeah, I hate cars, especially cabs. Um, my longboard actually just got recently run over because a cab uh, cut me off. He was on the sidewalk when he was pulling out of the driveway when it shouldn't have been. He should have been in the driveway, so I had to cut onto the road. And my board kind of grinded up against the sidewalk because um, the sidewalk was a little higher than the part near the road. So my bo board lost control and shot the traffic and got run over by a truck. So Every single time, it's like, they're like, oh, you came out of nowhere. And like, no, I didn't. I was right there. You saw me. I waited for you. I've seen um, some drunk Western students, like, push a kid off his board just because they thought it was funny. Besides the cars, probably the winter, just because, you know, because we live in Canada, it's just difficult to board all year. You have to have four to six months where you just can't board. I can't say really, because most long boarders are pretty timid, I would say. Um... Not really, the only time it's ever like that is when I see, uh, cars. No. I wouldn't say so. It's more of a choice, just like anything else in life. <laughs> you choose to be where you want to be. Like, they don't do a lot of stupid hooligan sh stuff. Um, I personally am kind of a jackass when I'm on my longboard, like, I'll weave in and out of traffic and stuff like that. So I feel like maybe towards me, cops might, because I'll be doing stupid stuff like that, but... As the community as a whole, I don't think we're really prosecuted in the way, say, maybe skateboarders are. Which, they still aren't that prosecuted that much, it's still kind of a cliche of things. Not really, I mean, I've never had a time where like, a cop's come up to me and give me a hard time just because I'm on the longboard. Mostly by people driving cars, like with the time I got hit by a car. But yeah, do you feel like that's like, a, that's like a main thing against like, yeah. the long range, just the drivers. I just don't care. Like, Your board's gotten broken. And, mm -hmm. yeah. fucking and then you actually had to go like physio and shit because of... So yeah. You should tell that story, that's interesting. I was crossing the street, um, some douchebag decided to take a left turn, hit me, and I had to go to the hospital, and now I'm going through physiotherapy, insurance suit, and making claims and shit, trying to get my money back for my board. And I don't think so, because, like I said, longboarders are kind of timid. Like, the kind of personality that comes around a longboarder is, like, that of a skateboarder, and I don't mean to generalize people and stereotype them, but it's like a skateboarder, but more chillax, almost like a surfer type, because... We are concrete surfers, so like that kind of chilled back, like not all attention flashy look at me. Just so I don't really get that vibe. I mean, sometimes, but not a lot. Talk about uh, what it's like going down hills and stuff. The thing about longboarding is you are going really fast. Like when you get, I don't mean the fragrance, but like when you get good into when you get intense into it, you are going really fast down hills. And like I've injured myself many times. Like you can go fast, you can go slow, you can do slides, you can do you know it just. It's a lot of fun. You ever like you ever gotten like really it's hurt? A, you ever really injured? Yeah, first day I got like scars. Like where are they? All my elbows are fucking torn up anyways, but like I got scars on my arms around here. The first time going down hills. Cause I had like a skateboard set up with longboard wheels and like it couldn't handle the speed, so it just do this and then I'd fly off. And I did that about 10, 15 times that day, and I just end, end up going home bloody as hell. Popped, like, nerves in my shoulders. Well, I don't know, pop, pinched them. Um, I've broken my ankle. <clears throat> and, like, they happen like this, and it really sucks because I just want a longboard. And then there's this at-risk factor about it where it's like, oh, I, like, is today going to be the day I break my ankle and I can't do anything for four more months and something like that. You think, like, the community around longboarding has grown and... Yeah. yeah, it's become a big thing the past couple of years, blown up exponentially. If you want a longboard and get that community going, then that's cool. But you don't have to be part of that community. And I think it needs to get more exposure because it is a lot of fun. And like people talk about surfing and stuff like that, how cool surfing is. Well, longboarding is pretty much it's surfing. Like surfing, we can get places. Yeah, it's like surfing. Everyone thinks is longboarding as people who can't skate and they just want to get around quickly or something like that. Like, just transportation or, oh, this guy can't skate, he's got a longboard instead because he's got bigger wheels, it's more structured. That's not true. You learned something. You got uh, yeah, it. I got better from it. Yeah, see? I Probably didn't guess. injure my head, unfortunately. Yeah, well, you do that a lot. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have the friends I have now, I wouldn't be where I am because of longboarding. I know it sounds corny to say that, but it's true. Like, who I am is longboarding.
and what I do is based around longboarding, like the kind of longboard culture, which is a small culture, but it is emerging, especially recently. But yeah, it's it's who I am. Every, someone's like a dancer. Someone's, you know, whatever. I'm a longboarder. How about just like some drunken experiences on longboard? Just like just some good experiences on longboard. I longboard and make it down Fanshawe Park Road. Yeah, just talk about that story. Uh, that's pretty. <laughs> that's that's just it. <laughs> I don't remember much of it, but I, I can totally tell you more. Yeah. Such an aggravation Accusations Don't know how to take them Inspirations Getting on and faking Concentration So, uh, longboarding can be the best method for uh, you to commute to work, relieve stress, uh, build confidence, find new friends, and um, a plethora of other kick-ass activities. Uh, so next time you want to hit us with your car, just, just don't. Please, don't. If you don't need it, you don't need it. Just don't.